What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Cosmos today, A-T-O-M, at the request of Dolui. Dolui, we're talking about this for you, my friend. We're talking about this for you. Uh, I don't know, man. I just assume you would have that kind of accent. I don't. I, maybe you don't. Perhaps you have this kind of accent, or maybe it's this one. I don't know. But enough of that. Enough of that. Let's let's talk about Adam. Talking about Cosmos. You're in your accumulation range. Yes, absolutely, you are. Very sideways movement. You kind of have. I think this is a bullish bat pattern. I think. If you guys know about harmonics. I think that's a bullish bat, yeah, because it went up to its 886. I think so. Let's see. Hold on. Low to high. Yeah, bro, that's a bullish. I'm pretty sure that's a bullish bat pattern, what you got there. And you're seeing the, the breakout of that now. So technically, the first target, I believe, would be up here, one of these areas. But let, let's, let's actually pull it up. Let's actually pull it up here. Let's see. Bullish bat pattern. You see it? You see it, right? No, that's that's not what I, not what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do. I meant to blow it up. I guess I can't. Or no, is it not? Maybe it's not. Eight eight six hit. Okay, so that part's true. Three eight two to point five. Oh, see, but you hit your six one eight six nine. Ah. Uh, so it's not a bullish bat. I don't think it's a Gartley. Because I think Gartley has the... No, it does have a lower high. Give me some more. Okay, so the Gartley is the 618. Okay, so I had it wrong. It is a Gartley. Which would mean that the target would be a 1618 hit. I don't think that's true. I think there's more than just that. Here we go. Uh, I don't like that's like a trend based fib. I don't I don't buy here target C yes right there target A final target would be a one six one eight extension okay okay so technically by that what it's saying is and I think that's true is like this was your first selling point which you're getting near but you're not quite there yet that's your second selling point. And then your by by definition of this, I'm not I'm not saying do it exactly like this, but by the definition of the uh, the Gartley pattern, which I think we've established it is. Right. Let me see. Hold on. I think it is, man. I think it is. It's not perfect, but I think it is. Um, one six one eight extension would be all the way up to thirty two dollars. And hey, that makes sense, man. Previous areas of resistance here, previous areas of resistance there. Yeah, uh, Adam, that also makes sense beyond just the fact that it's a harmonic pattern. That once you break this accumulation range, that you would move up to either here at your like nearest resistance area, which was previous support, or maybe here at your nearest resistance area, which was previous resistance. Which hey, that's your top target. That's your one six one eight extension. Um, and then that might be like a 1272 or a 1414. Let's see. 1414 near that. But yeah, it makes sense, man. So you're going, you're going above $25 inevitably with this move. Now, when is the question? When? Because you could, again, as this implies here, um, you could top off right here at this area, consolidate for a little bit, pull back, find a higher low, and then move up to that next top area. Pull back again, form a higher low. You might consolidate a little bit, and then when you're ready, boom, you're going to break out and see a phenomenal move up to this area. So something like that is what I think is in the cards for this. You're overbought right now in your weekly. That's okay. Um, a lot of people think overbought means you have to drop. I don't think it means you have to drop. I think that means you're showing strength, and when you're showing strength, you tend to actually go up. Uh, the daily R side looks fine to me as well. You're actually getting lower lows while having higher lows. That's that's pretty good for immediate continuation. I think I think you do want to continue up. Let's say at least here to about 1470 to 1540, 45. Then you probably do consolidate. You probably come back to around these price areas, and then you go up to your $17 area. We got a roadmap, man. It's nice. Look up bullish Gartley pattern. Use the fibs to figure it out yourself, man. That's that's. We got, we got the roadmap right there, man. Everything that I have is in log, right? So like if you look at this chart, it's, it's on the L, L for log. If I draw my fib, I double click it to pull up the settings, scroll down, 
fib levels based on log, right? Because it's a log scale. So if you want to measure it yourself and see the same targets, right? If the targets aren't on there, right? Like the 1618, I'm pretty sure it's on there, but if it's not, it's not on there, you can just type it in yourself. 1618 right there, right? It would be, let's say it was at like a two, whatever. Just delete it, type in 1.618, wherever, and then boom, then you've got it right there. Um, and if all that's too confusing, just watch back what I was saying earlier about all the targets. Cause I think, I really do think that we have a roadmap based off of like something like this. This, this is right to me. This is what I've like, when I learned about uh, harmonics, this is how I've like learned it. And the reason why it says buy here and not down here, generally how I am at least, I would buy right there playing directly off of the ideas of this pattern. But you buy here cause you can see, I know it's not like super close up, but right there's the bullish engulfing candle. That's like your first like kind of breakaway move. Um, so that's like the conviction that that is your low. You have, you have the uh, um, <clears throat> confirmation that the low is in. So that's why it's saying buy here. It's a lot less, it's a little bit more risk adverse, but personally with harmonics, they tend to play out pretty damn perfectly. So I, I would buy down there personally, but uh, miss that train already. We're definitely well past the point of buying, but still, even at 1367, I think you're going to move up more than 100% from here um, over the months to come. And I said months, right? I, I think this move will happen, but even if you move, let's let's say you move up at this trajectory here, you move up to $32. That puts you in July, and that's a pretty solid trajectory, right? And in that time, you can move up, you can move down, you can move up, you can move down, you can move up, like who knows? And maybe it's July, maybe it's later than that. But yes, you're looking like you want to move up overall. Um, and I would think rather immediately you do want to move up. So again, I think you're moving up to 1545, 1545 to 1475, somewhere in that area. And then you'll probably pull back. And then next you'll move up again to like 1710 to 1570, but probably 1710 and then pull back. And then, then your breakout will finally happen. So long construed video, just basically laying out the blueprints of a harmonic pattern. For those of you that don't know what harmonic patterns are, and I did a poor job explaining it, type in harmonic patterns, see if you can you know, find anything out for yourself. Learn how to use the fibs. Harmonic patterns are very strict. They're not loose. A lot of things with fibs can be loose to a certain degree, uh, left for like speculation, right? To, to, to each individual's own perception. But harmonic patterns are very, very specific. They're very, very tight. Like you, you can't really be off by too much of a margin, right? So anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. This thing looks good. It looks good. It's going to go up. It's going to continue to go up for the months to come. So yeah, um, but just not in a straight line. But, but yeah, take care. Bye-bye.